This DVD deals with the game of backgammon. Backgammon's an old game. When I grew up, it was called sheshbesh. That's an Arabic word for 6-5. It's one of the games you wouldn't think of cheating because it's such a friendly home game. You see it in people's houses all over the country. But given the popularity of the game now due to the internet and due to poker sites that are offering backgammon tournaments, you'd be wise to learn the secrets of backgammon cheaters and you might be surprised at exactly how clever they really are. If you play a friendly game of backgammon or tournament backgammon or if you play backgammon for money, you need to know the secrets of backgammon cheaters. This information was done 20 years ago but is very relevant to, the, to today's backgammon play. Backgammon is a popular gambling game that is easy prey for dice hustlers and cheats. A skillful backgammon hustler can easily control the outcome of a game by clever manipulation of the dice and doubling cubes. Watch closely as the dice are controlled to take out a white blot. Because he has a choice of two numbers, he can openly position one of them as he legitimately shakes the cup. He positions a three. As luck would have it, he's treated to a bonus, the six. Because the three is controlled on one die, the six-three combination will occur more often. The odds change from 18 to one to six to one. In addition, the odds for throwing double threes reduce from 36 to one to six to one. In this example, in spite of a weaker board, the hustler offers his opponent the doubling cube. The opponent readily accepts the double. The dice are picked up and shaken, and a set of sixes are thrown.